Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue our HTML5 video with even more awesomeness. And this awesomeness is going to be in the form of HTML5 uh, or just HTML attributes. And it'll show you some of the cool things that HTML5 video can do without a whole lot of anything. Um, so we're going to get started. Uh, and the first thing we're going to show you is tab index. And so we can set a tab index of zero on this video. Notice how we already have the attribute of controls in here. So that's one. Uh, if we have this attribute tab index equals zero, we'll save this. Now let's come to our code and refresh. So what tab index does is it allows you to take control of video controls uh, by hitting tab and highlighting the video. So in this case, tab and you can see the highlight around it. However, Chrome is sort of weird with this, so it might be better to see the effects of this on Firefox. In fact, it doesn't really allow you to do a whole lot right now in Chrome, and while that might change, uh, it's really something that shines better in something like Firefox. So let's highlight the video here. It's highlighting. Now you can use a space bar to start and stop the video. So that's just one little accessibility thing. It allows you to, you know, uh, control your video with the keyboard, hitting forward and back, jumps the video forward and back. So that's really nice. Uh, like I said, the Chrome implementation of it right now is currently a little weird, but it, it's just something that you know doesn't take a whole lot extra to add and, and just makes the experience nicer for some people. The next we want to have is autoplay. So let's type autoplay, just like you would expect. And let's uh, refresh the page here. You notice the video plays immediately. And on Chrome, it plays immediately as well. What's really nice about that is sometimes you don't want um, a video to just be a controlled video. Maybe you want it to have a certain effect and instead of just being like a video with audio sort of thing. So in this particular instance, when you refresh the page, the video is just going to start. And the support for this is it's pretty well supported. Autoplay is supported in pretty much every browser that supports HTML5 video except for iOS and Android. Now this is for actually a decision they made uh, with mobile browsers because clearly a lot of people are on mobile plans that are limited the amount of data they can use. So you don't want a video that just starts playing and downloading the video eating up some of your mobile data that might uh, make certain users upset with your website and when users get upset they don't come back. So that is a deliberate decision um, to not make that available in those browsers. So next we have is, let's go back to our HTML. We also have one called loop. And if we just type loop, just like this, uh, the video is gonna loop. It's exactly like, like what you'd expect. Let me turn off the volume, let's refresh the page here, and I'll get to the very end of this video and you can just see it in action. There it goes, perfect. Uh, perfect loop, just starts off immediately. The only reason there's a little fade is because there's a fade in the video. So that's great, I have this nice looping video. Okay, so this video is looping, it's infinitely looping, and it's auto-playing, which kind of gives a little obnoxious. Uh, so I want to do two things. First, I want to take away the controls, uh, simply because I want this video to be more of just a feature that exists, and I want to have it be muted. So just like that, I refresh, no more controls, and now this HTML5 video is really just like a moving image. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and let's go for one more attribute here. And this one is similar to autoplay in that it doesn't work on mobile browsers because, uh, again, this has to do with data usage. So this attribute is called preload. So if we do preload just like that, it's going to start downloading the video right when the page opens. And now if autoplay wasn't on, and we still have our controls, it would start to download that video so when your users played it, it wouldn't have to go and download it then, which could be nice. However, again, on mobile browsers, that doesn't work because they don't want you to eat up uh, the user's data. So let's save this and let's come back here. And now we have this nice video feature and notice it works just the same on Firefox. It's just basically a moving image. And you might be wondering why we might want to do something like that. Well, let's take a look at an example. And just so you know, I had nothing to do with the creation of this site. This is a site built uh, for the New York Times. 
called Snowfall, and it, it looks awesome. I mean, look at this. So this giant billboard right here is really an HTML5 video. If we inspect this, let's pull up our inspector. Um, let's go into this div. You can see all this stuff here. Actually, it might be in this one. Uh, inside here, we have our HTML5 video tag. And notice this is just like normal. We have our preload equals none option. We have, uh, let's see what other video options we're used to. Well, there's poster in here, which we didn't go over just yet, but I'll, I'll briefly mention. And so this is pretty cool because they're using this HTML5 video. And you would never know it's a, an HTML5 video. I guess this sort of thing just couldn't exist on the web like this in the past. So let's scroll down and let's see um, some other cool things they do with HTML5 video on the site. This is also an HTML5 video. And look at how much it adds to the site. Uh, there's just some really great usage of video all over this. So check this New York Times out, uh, Snowfall, I believe is the, yeah, it's so Snowfall, but great examples of HTML5 video all the way around. So you can do really cool stuff with this. And I would briefly mentioned the poster tag while looking at that. Poster is just going to be a poster image. So if you had your controls on, uh, if you had your controls on and it wasn't set to be autoplay, we could have a, um, let's say, a poster image. And all we have to do to define the poster image is type poster equals, and then inside of quotes, have a path to an image. In this case, I'm going to grab one of these um, animal images just for fun here, just so you can see this in action. Save this. Now let's check out our page. Refresh. And you'll notice the video is not started. We have this animal image, and it's a poster frame. So now when we start playing, there's the video. Cool. So these are the attributes you have access to in HTML5 video and they can really do a lot to make your video a different experience. So check it out, uh, try all these options, just play around with HTML5 video. In the next video, we're gonna go over something called Video for Everyone that has a flash fallback and is really nice uh, to support the browsers that won't necessarily be able to be using your HTML5 video. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.